one of the most decorated units during World War I was the Black Regiment known as the Harlem Hellfighters, a nickname given to the Army's 369th Infantry Regiment. After years of petitioning the governor of New York, African Americans were granted their own unit within the New York National Guard, since the Guard was segregated. In January of 1918, two years after finally being given their own unit, they landed in France and immediately made their mark, distinguishing themselves not only by their bravery, but also by their musical talents. The moment they step off the ship, the regimental band begins to play the French national anthem with this sort of funky kind of jazz beat and rhythm to it. It introduces Europe to jazz. The men were combat ready, but instead of being sent to the front lines, the 369th Regiment was assigned menial tasks such as unloading ships, building barracks, and digging latrines until a new plan was devised. To satisfy the French, who were demanding U.S. soldiers, and also to satisfy U.S. white soldiers, who did not want to fight alongside African-American soldiers, 369th is assigned to the French. Unlike the American troops, the French army welcomed the aid of the Hellfighters, and within weeks, they were fighting from the trenches. They stay engaged in combat and fight longer than any other U.S. troops, black or white, 191 days. And they fight with valor and they fight with distinction. Several of the individual soldiers are awarded the Croix de Guerre, the French war medal for distinction in battle and service. Although they were honored for their heroism by the French military and were celebrated by the American public upon their return to the United States, the 369th Regiment was not officially recognized by the United States military until much later. In 2015, President Barack Obama recognized the bravery of Henry Johnson, one of the members of the 369th Regiment, and posthumously awarded him the Medal of Honor, the nation's highest military award. 